Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do vector calculation using Casio FX115 ES Plus. To do the vector calculation, we press mode button here, and then we select number 8, which is vector. Now, when you press that, this screen will come and and this will sometimes disappear so don't panic let me just m make it disappear we have vct vector on the screen to work or, or do calculation with a vector let's say uh, for example we have this vector of uh, two space two and three this is a vector so that's an x value and that's a y value depending on your uh, point of reference so to, to work, let's say, add this with this or do some other calculation, cross product, dot product, subtract. Uh, we have to store it in the memory and then do the calculation. To store any vector in the memory and bring the previous screen, this is a vector button, which is number five, by pressing shift. Press shift and vector. Now this will come on the screen, number one, dimension. So it says for which vector. We can store up to three vectors in this calculator. So I'm going to store that one into vector A by pressing 1. It asks if you want the 3 dimension, press 1. For 2 dimension, press 2. This is a 2 dimension. I'm pressing 2. Now this screen shows the value of 2 and then equal sign and then 3. Press, press equal sign. So 2 value for each of them. On the screen also it shows A. Now press all clear, AC. That disappears. And now uh, let me store this one into B and then I'll bring them back. So shift vector number one dimension and then vector B I want it, which I press number two. So the dimension is two, I'm pressing two. Now five and then equal sign. For minus two, just press minus and then two equal sign. You can see the B is here. Now all clear, disappear. To do, let's say, Let's store also this one in the other memory at three dimension. Shift vector one dimension and vector C, which is three. Now it's three dimension. I'm pressing one. So you see we have three space for that. Minus two equal and then two equal and then four equal. C is also stored. Let's say uh, you want to do the this vector. Uh, multiply by that vector. So this is in A, this is in B. So this is in B, this is in A. So I'm going to bring the vector and do the calculation. Shift number 5, vector B number 4. So that's vect B plus vect A, vector A. Shift 5, vector A number 3. So two vector, just press equal sign, and that's the value 7, 1. You can see that's the, there. Now, many times you just need to use the result of one calculation in the other calculation. Let's say you have another vector and then you want to add the result of this into memory A or vector A or vector C. How you do that? Press shift vector and here you will see vect answer number six. So that is the answer. Now we can add it, but I'm just pressing equal so you can see seven and one. Still the answer is in the memory. So I'm bringing it back, shift 5, vect answer number 6, plus, let's say, vector A, shift uh, number 5 vector, for A I'm pressing 3. So the answer plus vector A, that's a new vector, that's the result. Now this will be stored in the answer. Now let's do a cross product, I'm multiplying vector B times vector A, press shift vector, for B, plus press 4, multiply by shift vector number 3, vector A. So that's a 3 dimension or 3 space vector. So let's say you want to do the dot product. For the dot product, again, we have to bring it from memory. Remember, this is in vector B and that's in A. All clear. Shift vector. For the dot product, I, we, uh, we have to bring one vector, vector B, number 4. And then we want to put dot, shift again 5, and then press dot, which is number 7. Now the dot appeared. Now bring the vector area, shift 
5 for vector a 3 so that the dot product which is a number number 4 many times you need to find the absolute value the absolute value which is the magnitude of the vector 5 and 2 let's say uh, you have something like so this is 5 and that is minus 2 and your, your vector is somewhere here so to get the length of this that's called absolute value we have to do like a calculation of 5 squared plus 2 squared all under a square root but this has a f the calculator has already a feature and, and this is in the this is in the memory vector b so to do the absolute calculation we press shift and then hype the second function of this one is absolute so you see abs and then shift bring the vector press 5 for the vector and b that's my vector press equal sign and that is the magnitude of this vector which is 5.385 okay that's it uh, this was vector calculation with this calculator if you like the video please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe thank you